Okay. Hey again, y'all. This is clearly the Columbia series. Um, you know, check the fit. We still in the Columbia fit. And yeah, today we are talking about the time that I went to Watape. Watape was so fun. Um, to get there, like what I did was I took the bus. And of course, like I found out, I found out about all the stuff online, you know? I went to my bus. I got there kind of right on time, luckily. And of course the bus was packed. I thought I was about to have that window seat. Thought I was about to have a whole back row. No. Oh yeah, the seats were by number. So I thought like nobody was gonna come. So I ended up meeting this family there, which they are very cool. And, but only their son, Jose, spoke English for real. So like, I know some Spanish, but not enough for me to be carrying a full conversation with somebody that like kind of only speaks Spanish. He ended up like just being real cool. Like he was telling me things he wants to do in life. Like, you know, it's like some dislikes. So why not? We're gonna be on the bus. Like we're gonna be on the bus for like two hours. Let's, and we really don't talk to each other. Let's get comfortable. Just, this is incredible. So yeah, he was cool, his family was cool. And I thought like, after that, like after I got off, that like maybe we'll go our separate ways and like I'll just go walk around and explore. But like we found somebody that was like doing boat tours and asked me if I wanted to like split, like split the tour when I'm like, hey, shoot, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So I ended up doing that. Um Muchas gracias. No. ¿Por qué? no. You'll see like my my little boat tour tour of the lake there in Waxape. Now what I wasn't doing was that the um, El Peño, I was not refused to do it from everything i have been doing in medellin and all the traveling i've been doing so far mm -mm, me taking 150 three five how many steps el pino has it was happening that day not that day and it was a rainy day or so on the tour the boat tour they talked about what is that man's name lord i'm about to say el chapo pablo Escobar. Yes, the king of cocaine. They was telling me like how he had all these houses around the lake and how like he pretty much, he had everything on lock. Like he had everything on lock around there. And that even, I think they were saying that's where he died or that's where he was, that's where he escaped. Like, yeah, they were saying that's where he escaped at some point. That maybe there was a fire. It was a fire. All I know is there was a fire. Jumped out the house, got away, or he died somewhere else. I can't remember. 
Now, I'm sorry y'all because the tour was given in Spanish. But either way, I liked how like there was like a hotel. You can only get there by boat. I thought that was crazy. Just like some of those other like people had houses at like estates. But people had homes, like homes out here on the lake. They live in the good life for real. I'm just happy, like, you know, everywhere I go, wherever everywhere that I go, I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be there. I don't care if it take a bus to get there. Um, I don't care if I like need to take a drive, like take a car, take a bus, then ride a bike to get there. Like, I just be happy to be there. And to see these people, these huge houses, yay, be. Okay, so what else do I watch? Okay, I just ended up hanging out with them. Like the family was cool, got me something to eat. I tried trucha, trout. That's some good fish. Like cat, like fried catfish versus like this chucha. It's like, hey, mm, we got some competition. It's some competition, like tilapia. I mean, whatever. As long as I eat white and white is good, catfish good, salmon. Hey, trout ain't gonna give salmon a run for his money, but maybe catfish. I'll say that. Maybe catfish. That fish was so good. I was starving, of course, had to eat. Like we did, we took some pictures around there. We took pictures, we went to souvenir shops. But we couldn't stay out too long. It started to rain and then we had to make it so we can get on that bus. I had to get on the bus to go back. And I was supposed to like go back and like meet somebody that night. So I decided to meet because I really hadn't met anybody. But I will say, I know it's about Vatape, but there is some stuff there that I do want to do when I visit again in the future. Like I want to go to Parque RV. Um, there's restaurants I want to go to, bars and stuff, and just like the more that like, you know, maybe I like follow social media or just see other people travel out there, like I want to see more of Poblado, I've been to Provenza a little bit, but it's not like I really got into the scene there, so I know Medellin is a place like I just go again and see something different definitely can always see something different there oh my god let me mention the place that you should go okay so yeah the rooftop i had went to was envy rooftop make sure you go there for the views like when i say the city looks so good it's really because of the mountains like everybody living like just all the way down or all the way up however you want to phrase it like up the mountain like the lights are everywhere and it's just beautiful and like yeah i found a name from this website and they mentioned alambi k having like a nice rooftop too which i went to alambi k the food was so doggone good i mean i really only had like the salad but if the salad tastes like that i can imagine what they doing in that kitchen that salad had some of the, like i know it's just like a tomato on a salad it's like okay here you go to most places, no matter how nice, they give you a tomato on a salad, it's just a tomato, right? That place, I feel like they, they cut the tomato, they, they, mar they massaged, <laughs> they massaged oil and black pepper and whatever kind of seasoning into it and it was just so good. I'll go back any day, but I do have more to get into. I had another day in Medellin on the time that I went back but yeah we'll get into that later on because I'm gonna try to keep my things in order and hopefully y'all like these this video you can like subscribe share maybe you're going to Medellin soon uh, uh hopefully you not you know turned off by that doggone lights reflecting in my glasses like if i could just i feel like that would look much better but i can't even see how 
Yeah, if I didn't wear glasses, that would just be much easier for this recording stuff. Oh my God. I gotta turn this way and that way and this way and that way and this way and that way and this way and that way. <laughs> okay. As you can see, I'm ready to be back on camera more. I got more stories for y'all. They coming, but you gotta be tired, okay? You can watch the dog on TikTok. So you can watch the TikToks. Follow me over there if you just really want to hear more sooner. But just know I will give more detail here. All right. <laughs>